Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering a really, really cool Steam VR update, which I've personally gave a little bit of feedback to here. And it's regarding the controller positions within Steam VR. So this is for any headset, any controller combination. But in my case, I'm using the Pika Neo for Link by DisplayPort because this has issues with controller positions in certain titles. And there's in some ways no way to get around that without using my driver hacks. So right now, I would highly suggest updating Steam VR if you haven't already. You can go into beta, but this is now released for stable. And I'm going to cover just the desktop side of things so people can sort of see a little bit better than the Steam VR window I have on the other half of the screen, which I won't, will make bigger in a second. So I'm going to get rid of my OBS. I'm going to start with just going into the Steam VR window that pops up once you launch Steam VR. Uh, clicking the three lines in the top left hand corner of that and going to settings. And starting with just going down to the advanced settings and click show. Um, I would just recommend everyone do that. It just gives you a few more options. So controller wise, not everything's going to be available in desktop view here, but essentially what you're doing is it's be the same in headset as you get into your Steam VR settings, you go into the controller field and you're going to find the manage controller bindings. So right now this pops up with a game list for me to select and choose whatever game I'm going to have an issue with or what I want to adjust and then click custom and edit this binding. So all of that stage is going to be exactly what you do in headset and it will give this exact same screen. However, because I'm not in Boneworks and it doesn't know what game I'm, I'm playing yet, it doesn't actually give me all of the adjustments here. So for argument's sake, this should show pose adjustments, which would be like the laser pointer and where the control is relative to the pose. So you can change your grip pose and all the rest of it. That works in open VR titles not legacy and not open xr which is part of my feedback um when i seen this update come i was hoping that it could be for just everything in steam vr just as i'm doing at the moment so to do that that bit where you want every adjustment possible you go up to the options in the top right and not only does this let you set compatibility mode and stuff for your headset so essentially with, with the pico i can emulate the oculus touch controller so it already gets me halfway there with the, with the inputs and the positions but you've also got the new window, which is configure offsets. And this is all of the adjustment to Steam VR itself. So not, not the poses. This is the entire thing with it in Steam VR um, relative to that game you're playing. So you no longer need to do it on the Pika New for Link for every single game. This is now per game and exactly the same adjustments you were making before, only now built into Steam VR, which is awesome. So you can adjust these while you're uh, in your game. And just go out with your overlay, see where your Steam VR controller lays, and then bring up your game and just keep doing it until your hand is where you want your hand to be. So let me use one example. Um, if I close out of all of this, if I go back, it should load a workshop binding page. So right now it's not going to show a lot because I'm not actually in the game. But when you're doing this from within headset, if you get back to these community bindings for the Pika New for Link and Boneworks, you're going to find I've shared a community binding that you can just click on, activate, and immediately your hands are fixed. So that's cool. People can very quickly share fixes for games um, where the actual VR headsets themselves have issues with controller positions. So let me go into a full screen view and I'll just check OBS's behaving here. Sorry, this is very quick and dirty video. So OBS is cool. I don't need to see that anymore. That's doing its job. So right now I'm going to do just a few examples here using my library. Vertigo 2 I'm going to start with, which is a native Steam VR title, modern open VR title. And this can use the pose adjustments, which are relative across all Steam VR titles, but they don't necessarily work on OpenXR or Legacy. So without me even getting into the game here, if I just go into uh, my Steam VR overlay, while I'm in game, it shows the game I'm playing. I can go to controller bindings, edit this binding, wait for it to load, and you can see I have poses here. Now the pose can be changed to whatever um, sort of relative position on the controller you want. And then you've got the cog, which can then do 
your relative controller positions. Let me just turn my headset down and splash some sound into my ears. So all of these can be changed, and that is basically going to affect the game. If I just do one example here, so do a position offset of quite an extreme. So my hands are where you can see in the mirror. If I just bring this up and reset the default, you can see the, the pose adjustments have worked in this game. If I do this for something like Boneworks, which is a legacy Steam VR title, that pose adjustment doesn't work. So I'm just going to exit this game quickly and show you what the deal is with Boneworks, for example. So launch into this one. And like I said, with the Pika New for Link, this game is uh, really, really bad for hand positions. It's a, an entire controller length apart from where your hand is. And there's no easy way to fix that without going into the driver, any files, and adjusting controller positions relative to Steam. So if I let this load up out of the, the darkness here, I should be able to show you what the, the fix is and how easy this can be once you've dialed it in. So right now, my hands are relatively close because I've got my profile loaded. But in the Steam VR overlay, same thing again. If I go to controller bindings, I've got an active controller binding of custom. So if I edit this binding and go instead instead of poses, which don't work, if I go up to options and then just configure the controller offsets here, I can see my offsets I've already applied. So if I show you where my hands are relative um, now once they're fixed. And then if I just reset all of this to default, you can see my hands are now way, way off. Um, it's just a problem I've been putting up with this game for, for years, <laughs> to be honest. So the good part is I've reset these bindings here. Obviously you would want to go back and um, save your personal binding once, you, once you're happy, so you make sure it's saved. And you can even publish to the workshop and uh, and name it and let other people share your your bindings, which will keep the relative positions and the offsets, which is really, really cool. So for me, I'm already in the game. I'm in the controller binding custom page. If I go back and let it load the workshop bindings, you can see there is one that's a personal, obviously what I've saved, but going down to shared bindings, obviously, for anyone else that was watching, it would be in com community bindings. You're going to see the Pika New Free Link Display Port hand fix from Gmo Largy. So I can click activate, scroll back up, make sure it's changed to the current binding, and when I do this, my hands are now fixed. Uh, awesome! It's such a handy feature. So this has took many years of many different people pleading. For this feature um, but i'm happy to say i've had a little bit of input to this and finally we have this in steam vr so that is an open vr title using the modern sdk i guess this is a legacy steam vr title and something like beat saber that's fully updated with open xr pavlov is open xr same thing you would use just the options and not the poses so as long as you use the the options feature at the top right and do the controller position adjustments that way it will reflect in your game and again it's all saved per game so Pavlov takes a little while to start it's going to show on the desktop i'll just get rid of that but you don't need to me to explain it anymore it's an awesome feature it's so handy um even just doing games that are only a little bit out um just by the way that the developers have done even on an oculus headset if you feel that it's a little bit um a little bit uncomfortable to hold your controller um but there's no in-game adjustment, you can now use that as a complete override of the uh, game itself, and it will save per game. So again, for anyone that's got disabilities or just likes holding the controls in different ways, you can adjust it to exactly how you want, and it saves per game, per hand. Um, it's awesome. Such a good feature, and obviously I'm super happy that it's now finally within SteamVR. So that's it. That's my update. Highly recommend, obviously, checking out and having a play. And if you do have really cool solutions, please use the community binding um, feature of Steam so everyone else can enjoy the same same game and not have to balance and, and do the things themselves. It's just super quick and easy to load. 
such as this Boneworks that I've personally shared my own thing with. And if people don't like it, they can still activate it and you can still edit it and then republish it or resave it. Do what you want. Super cool. And yeah, just really, really thankful to the Valve guys for listening and pushing out these SteamVR updates um, seemingly on a almost daily basis, really, for me um, compared to what we've had before. So go check it out, guys. Um, I hope that helps. And yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.